Well, hey everybody, I hope this video finds you well. I'm gonna teach you how to play an acoustic version of the Foo Fighters classic Everlong in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. It helps the YouTube algorithm. I'm gonna show you how to play this song in a bit of a different way than Dave Grohl plays it. Dave plays it in the key of D with a drop D tuning, and I'm gonna teach you how to play it in the key of E in standard tuning, which is kind of my take on the tune. It's a bit of a different groove. It, I think it feels really good to play, and perhaps you're a singer-songwriter who's playing cover gigs and you want to incorporate this into your set. I think that this would be a great option if you want to play this song without detuning your guitar. So we have three sections in this song, so it's a pretty simple structure. It's quite repetitive. It's really got this spectacularly beautiful haunting theme to it. We start off with this kind of wild chord. Some of these chords are a little tricky, which makes it more of an intermediate level tune. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward in terms of there just being three sections. So we start off with this section going like this. And that's basically the intro and the verse section. So let's see what's going on there. If you don't want to play that chord, which is a bit of a stretch for most people, especially on this guitar, which has a big chunky neck, you can play it like that. So just a three finger version. And so I'll show you that chord before I show you the more difficult one. And by the way, I have a free download below of the chord diagrams that are from this lesson if you'd like it, that would help you. Chord chart with diagrams. So it's open E, and then 7th fret on the 5th string, 6th fret on the 4th string, and then 8th fret with the pinky on the 3rd string. So you just got that kind of major 7th there ringing out. That's kind of how Dave plays it, but I play it in a finger style kind of way like this. And you're kind of going kind of having that melody ring out, which you can do by playing that high E string. So you can kind of vamp on that chord, and then play the high E in there. But the, the version, the inversion that I really like is this one. And it is a stretch, it's not particularly comfortable to hold it for a long period of time. But it's the same three notes that we played earlier, so it's open E, and then 7th fret, 6th fret, and 8th fret. But then the first thing it comes up here to the 4th fret and doubles up on that note. So it's really a redundant note, but I think it adds, it adds some nice tension. So you might just choose to play it like that, which is perfectly okay. Second chord is this kind of suspended C minor nine kind of thing. So it's a sorry C sharp minor nine kind of kind of thing. I don't think we need to go into the technicalities of exactly what this chord is, but basically it's a C sharp minor power chord here, and I'm playing the thumb on the ninth fret of the low E, and then I'm playing eleventh fret, eleventh fret on the 5th and 4th string, and then with the 1st finger, I'm playing the 8th fret to get that nice ninth. And then I have open B and E kind of ringing out, which I think just has a nice suspended quality to it. Okay, then we go come down, we go come down to here. So this is an A with a suspended second, and you could play that in a simpler inversion if you like. That's the inversion I like to play. You could just play this if you want, which is literally just open A, then second fret, second fret, open B and open E. Sounds quite beautiful. Or you could play it here if you're a glutton for punishment like me. So that is thumb on the 5th fret, and then 7th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, and open E. I 
just really like those chords. And on my recorded version, I actually used an electric guitar, an old ES-175. And when playing electric guitar, I generally find that the open strings, they just never are in tune. <laughs> so I usually try to avoid playing too many open strings on an electric. On an acoustic, it's nice to play as many open strings as possible, but on an electric, try and avoid it. So the first three chords, this lick which is really nice I'll show you that in a moment but before I do I'll just run through those three chords in this kind of simplified version there we go so let's look at that lick now all I'm doing here is basically playing is just an E major scale. So it's really simple, but when you have those open strings ringing out against one another, it sounds really quite beautiful, cascading. So we have open E, and then we play E flat there, which is 8th fret on the 3rd string, and then the pinky there on the 11th fret of the 4th string, and then open B. So first four notes, E, E flat, D flat, B, I should say C sharp instead of D flat. So that's the second half of the lick. So it's doing A on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and then a little hammer on pull off thing from the 6th fret to the 7th fret on that same string and then simply 9th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret and of course Dave Grohl doesn't play this lick, this is my little lick, <laughs> it's a little Joeism. you don't have to include it of course but I wanted to show it to you I had so many requests for a lesson on this arrangement so here it is and then we go back into that same chord progression Okay, so I'll just loop that nice and slowly so you can see how it fits together. One, two, three, four. Now with the right hand, I'm not doing anything particularly distinct, I'm just kind of strumming it as I feel it. It's really just a feel thing, so I don't really know how to explain it other than you know, and bum, 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 and the thumb's kind of going. I would say just feel it however you'd like to. It's like this is a rock and roll song. It's it's not meant to be uh, this exact science. It's just it's a feeling kind of thing. So that's the intro and the verse. And I will say during the verse, sometimes I come down to this chord. I go. I just play that chord, which is a E chord with a G sharp in the bass, so it's like a 1 over 3, going to that 4 chord, the A suspended that we already learned. So that walk up chord is ring finger on the 4th fret of the low E string, we don't play the 5th string, and then we play 2nd fret of the D string, and then 4th fret of the G string to that A chord. So the pre-chorus sounds like this. Into the chorus. 
So that's a nice little melodic moment. Basically what we're doing here is we're walking up. Then to a B. So the pinky is here on the ninth fret of the D string. And then the first finger is on the sixth fret of the A string. And the first finger walks up. Six, seven, nine. And then switches so that this note is still being pedaled, but the first finger switches to it. And then the ring finger plays the 11th fret on the A string. And then the pinky plays the 12th fret on the A string. Just like that, 11, 12, 11. To a B chord. slowly that's the first part of it six seven nine and then eleven twelve down to nine that B chord played with the thumb you don't have to play with the thumb I like to use the thumb but that's the pre-chorus And I am playing the backbeat a little bit with the fingers. So the backbeat is just two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just letting my hand fall on the two and four. Just gives it a little bit of a percussive feel. Before we go on, I'd like to say thank you to this video's sponsor, which is my website, actually. InvisibleTechnique.com I just launched a brand new course series called Daily Exercises. There are a series of left hand exercises and right hand exercises that have really helped me over the years. I've been doing these exercises for close to 20 years now and uh, I know they're going to help a lot of people out there. So do check that out at InvisibleTechnique.com and if you use the promo code YouTube, you'll get a little bit of a discount. So do take advantage of that. Check it out and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So we're moving on to the chorus now. So I'll play the pre-chorus once just to lead into the chorus. I'll play the chorus once and then we'll break it down. Such a beautiful song. So sad about Taylor. Okay, so we start off here with this C sharp minor chord, and in the verse we played it with this suspended ninth, but here we're just playing it with the open B and open E string ringing out. Okay, so it's ninth fret, eleventh fret, eleventh fret, ninth fret, open, open. C sharp minor down to an A suspended chord here. So I have the thumb on the fifth fret of the low E string, and then I have the seventh fret, seventh fret fretted, seventh fret fret fretted, and then the sixth fret, and then open B and open E. So C sharp minor, A suspended, and then an E power chord. So an E with no third. Open E, 7th fret, 9th fret, 9th fret, open B, open E. It's a really satisfying chord, isn't it? <laughs> and then I do this little run that goes. It's just a little melody. So I'm just kind of fretting down there. Thank you. 
pinky is here on the ninth fret of the G string, and then the middle fingers on the eighth fret, and it goes back and forth. And then the first finger bars down, and you have the seventh fret of the B string, and then you go back down. Ninth fret, eighth fret of the G string, open E, and a C sharp minor again. So then we just repeat those four chords. Three chords, I mean. This time we do the same riff. Except instead of going to the seventh fret, we hammer on to that E major seven chord there. So it's seventh fret, ninth fret, eighth fret, and hammering on from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. And you don't have to do all these riffs, of course. You can just play the song. And we go E, and this time we go to a B. Suspended, just like the A, except moved up two frets. So we have 7th fret, 9th fret, 9th fret, and then 8th fret, down to that A suspended again. And that's it, that's the whole song. So just to recap, we have the intro and the verse. We have the pre-chorus. That's it. We do have this little bridge section that just goes. So it just repeats the first part of that pre-chorus over and over again. So I hope you enjoy playing this version of the song. I think it's nice to have a way to play this song that doesn't involve tuning the low E string down to D because I like to play a lot of shows and I don't like to carry a bunch of guitars with me and I like to go straight from one song to the next without retuning my guitar for every other song. So I try to play just about everything in standard tuning, including a great song like this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm just about to hit 100,000 subs. So thanks very much to those who are subscribed. Uh, check out the free chords, which you can download below. Uh, I think they might be helpful. You'll see the chord diagrams and whatnot. And do check out my courses at invisibletechnique.com. All the best.